huge shot to open her scoring account. Here's Keeley Froling. Doesn't get the lucky roll, but there's that grit and determination on display. Gets the offensive rebound, draws the contact, and will head to the line. Played arguably her best game of the season on Wednesday night against the Flies. There's a Whitcomb. Hopes for Sharp. Look away pass was nice. Just misfiring on that occasion. It was Atwell who's got the start. Backed it up in the second quarter with a 32 to 13 quarter, which uh, set them up for that victory. As Whitcomb drives inside, no foul is called. Scherf goes to work on Shervin, backing down, trying to get a, a decent shot up. Draws a foul on the undersized Sammy Whitcomb and star shooter for the Perth Lynx. Willoughby, lovely find for Froling, who knocks down the easy two. Trying to get around Ryan. Back for Panousis, only three to shoot now, has to put it up. Vanessa Panousis, Pereira is not answered. Willoughby, guarded closely here by Sharp, such an elusive player, wonderful to watch. Froling is a three-point look and knocks it down, and she can do no wrong early. The good shooters are in the 80s, the great shooters are in the 90s. A nice little run here for the Lynx, just to get them some scoreboard advantage just before quarter time. Clark pulls the trigger. Wow, oh, nylon. And, you know, you've got this idea double teamer. Does that let someone else loose? Because she's a great feeder, as we see. Great feed and finish, and, and one inside for Keely Froling. Clearly, the Sydney Flames' tactic is to get the ball. She's feeling that she can draw fouls at the moment. We see some horns action, roll and rise. Great finish. Willoughby. Mismatch down low. They've missed it. Shervin had the undersized Robbie Ryan. Oh. Launches it. Keely Froling from the three. She cannot be stopped. Self to the free throw line. You know, she played inside, she played outside. She's two of three from the three-point line. We see her there. Stroke well. Scherf also back on the floor. Kicking it out for Atwell. Tough gig here against Willoughby. Good defence from Willoughby as well. Coach Shelley Gorman won't be happy with that defensive execution on the base out of bounds. Froling at the other end continues her ripping night. No, Coach Ryan Petrick on that. <laughs> Look at their technique. They, they put up the numbers, but they've also got great technique. Froling fading away. Wickham finds a way through, and then Froling puts up the block. Wickham, to her credit, kept on going. Sharp puts it back in for two, just before the buzzer. They try and attack that again in the, the start of this third quarter. Lauren Scherf trying to get us underway with a three ball. Up on the car here. Froling trying to set the pick there. Defence from Ryan. Among a car here finally feeds Froling, who feeds Rowe, who draws the contact and will head to the line. But you yep. tighten up and your technique isn't quite as smooth and easy, but, um, you know, as you say, undermanned opportunity. Drives hard inside, misses the floater. Froling with the offensive rebound, fading away, no foul call. 20 point lead for the Lynx. And the car here stuck against the baseline here. Lovely feed inside for Keely Froling. That's 10 assists.